This video is going to talk about how you use a HoneyBook um, contact form on your Show It website. Um, so this is just um, a page from a free template that Show It has. So you can see it already has um, all of these form fields in it. And basically, if you don't have any like HoneyBook or Dubsado or any other contact form, you can create them and show it using these form inputs and it would go right to your um, right to your email or whatever the email is associated with your show it account but we're gonna go through how to embed a honeybook form on here so you want to go into your honeybook account and then you're gonna go up to tools my templates and it brings you to this screen here and then uh, over here, they already have a few templates already started for you. This is the one that's on my website right now, um, but you would wanna create a new one. So you can click create a new contact form. And then it's not titled up here, so you can rename it to maybe website contact form. And then uh, you just build it from there. So it already has um, some fields already in it. So we can build this as if we are putting it in for um, maybe just a service type business. So you have a couple different um, options here. If you don't, let's say you don't need this pre-filled one in, so you can just hover over it and click the trash can on anything that you don't need. Um, these fields are filled in from your preferences in your account. So anything that has a drop down like this, um, you can update it in your account settings. So you can see that it says this here. Um, so we're not gonna do that in this video, but if you see anything that's like this, you um, know it's coming from your account settings. Maybe you don't need their address um, or their project date. Maybe you just want something simple like this. So there are some options over here where you can design it however you'd like. So if you wanted the text color um, to match your brand, um, you could do that so you can see that changed um, or you can leave it whatever color you'd like if you like it black. Um, so this is all about the colors. You can put the input background as transparent if you want. Button text, the background color, you could change that to transparent as well if you wanted to. Um, so you can choose that. You can see that cleared that out. Um, and then if you go back, you can change the fonts. So there's lots of different font choices here. Um, and that will change it how it looks over there. And then if you go back, um, these are just the thank you messages. So you could have a default thank you message um, or you could send it to your own custom URL as well. So that's another option you could do. Um, and we'll go over that in just a second. Um, these are just a list of the different contact forms. So then once you are ready, um, you can hit publish and it will come up with this code. So um, all you have to do is copy the code and then go in to show it. Um, and since you're embedding it, you actually don't need any of these um, fields in here. Um, so you could actually just delete them. Clear that out in the submit button. And then you're gonna go along the bottom and hover over the middle one and then click embed code and double click in it and then copy that code that you just took from HoneyBook. And then when you save it, you'll see that it fills in here. Now, um, you had it transparent, so if you wanted to change you know, the color of this box behind it, um, you could do that if you wanted to. Uh, we'll just leave it as white. And then what you wanna do is view it in your preview um, because the embed doesn't fit exactly um, how it looks in preview. So you can see that's cutting off here. So then you can just adjust it, adjust the canvas height until you get it just right. So you can see now in the preview, it ends here. And then when you actually preview it live, you can see it actually fits perfectly. And then you want to do the same thing for mobile. So if you have your mobile here, you can see that you always have to do this a little bit separately. Increase the canvas size. 
and just make it bigger. See what that looks like. Still need a little bit more room. So we'll make this bigger. I do find that the mobile version is a little bit more true to what it looks like in the preview. So that looks good there. So then when somebody fills this out um, on your website, you obviously hit publish. Um, but then when somebody fills this out, it will go right into your HoneyBook account. It will create a new project. And then once you have this contact form, that's when you can start setting up different workflows for HoneyBook. So based on what they put. So if somebody selects um, show a template customization, you can trigger to send an email, a specific email or a specific questionnaire. So you can really um, make it exactly how you want it. Now, if you wanted to change this to have your own custom URL, um, you could create another page in Show It. Like this one has different views, so we don't need this. But let's say you wanted to have a separate thank you page. So you could create a thank you page and then, you know, just change this however you wanted to. Maybe you want a freebie on there or something. We'll just keep it simple for now. Um, so then when you look at your page info, you have your page slug as thank you, and then you can plug that right in there. So then when somebody fills out your contact form on your website, they'll be directed to this page instead of just, um, you know, the standard default thank you message, which you can preview here. Just says thank you, your message was sent successfully. So that is how you um, embed a contact form, a HoneyBook contact form, into Show It.